welcome to our Neighborly Day Bilingual Storytime. My name is Miss Karen and I work here at the Palm Springs Public Library. Bienvenidos todos a nuestros cuentos bilingües. Mi nombre es Miss Karen y yo trabajo aquí en la Biblioteca de Palm Springs. So today, guess what? Why am I wearing a green hat? Can you guess? <gasps> yes, because it's St. Patrick's Day! But before we go there, we have to sing our song to start our story time. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. Vamos a cantar! Aplaudiendo, aplaudiendo, clapping, clapping. Put your hands on your head, put your hands on your knees, put your hands behind you now, if you please. Las manos atrás, las manos atrás, muy bien. Put your hands on your tummy, put your hands on your toes, put your hands up on your cheeks, put them on your nose, en las mejillas y en la nariz, muy bien. Put your hands in the air, put your hands on your hair, clap your hands, one, two, three, and fold them on your knees. Muy bien, cantaron muy lindo, very good, you all sing very, very nicely. So, today we are going to have two books to read. The first one is St. Patrick's Day, and that's why I'm wearing my hat so I don't get pinched by the leprechaun. And this book is by Rockwell, Anne Rockwell. And the drawings are by Lizzie Rockwell. All right, so we'll start reading our book if I can turn the pages. On St. Patrick's Day, I wore my green shirt green pants, and even my green striped socks. Pablo wore green sneakers. I am actually wearing green pants. Everyone wears something green on St. Patrick's Day. At school, we worked in teams to finish our St. Patrick's Day reports. Charlie, Jessica, and me, Nicholas and Sarah, Pablo, Kate, and Sam, and Michiko and Evelyn. Oh, I see a lot of green. And can you remember in Spanish how we say green? ¿Ustedes pueden recordar cómo se dice este color en español? ¿Qué color es este? Sí, muy bien. El verde, verde. Y estamos celebrando qué día. San Patricio. Muy bien. Y entonces tenemos que ponernos y vestirnos de verde. Yo tengo unos pantalones verdes puestos, además de mi sombrero. Mr. Sisko helped Charlie and Jessica and me find out about St. Patrick. He helped us type the story we told. This is the story, the story we printed out. St. Patrick by Evan and Charlie and Jessica. One bad day, people took St. Patrick from England across the sea to be a slave in Ireland. Patrick was a shepherd. He didn't find, fight with anyone, but he missed his mother and father, so he escaped. But before long, he went back to Ireland to teach people to be kind to each other. Nicholas and Sarah wrote a play. Nicholas said, I am St. Patrick. Do you know why there are no snakes in Ireland? No, everyone replied. I drove them away, said Nicholas. Clang, clang, boom, boom. Sarah was a big green snake slithering across the floor. ¿Qué vemos que es ella? ¿Una qué? ¿Cómo se llama esto? Una... ¿Cómo hacemos? ¿Cómo se llaman esos animales? Que hacen... Una serpiente, una culebra. Nicholas rang his bell and beat his drum. Bum, bum. I'm scared, said Sarah. I'm going to run away. Follow me, snakes. Hmm, said Nicholas. 
All the snakes are racing to the sea. Now you know why there are no snakes in Ireland. My bell and drum scare them away. Clam, clam, boom, boom. Pablo, Kate, and Sam love music. Mr. Kelly, the music teacher, taught Pablo and Sam how to dance a jig. Ah, oh, están qué? ¿Qué están haciendo? Con el profesor de música aprendieron a bailar algo acerca de San Patricio. Kate fiddled fast while Sam and Pablo danced. They wore green top hats just like mine. Estaban con unos, un, unos, ¿cómo se llaman estos? Sí, sombreros de color, ¿qué? Verde. They look like leprechauns that make mischief on St. Patrick's Day. And if you are not careful or not wearing green, they can pinch you. Evelyn and Michiko told about the special plant St. Patrick brought to Ireland. And how do you call this, this plant? How do you call it? Do you see it? Ah, uh, and it's on top of their head too. Let's see, let's find out how, what's the, the plant called? They explain how he planted shamrocks. Treboles de la suerte. Shamrocks are tiny bright green plants with tree round leaves. They brought a shamrock for each of us in a paper cup. I'm going to plant mine in our garden. So if you find a shamrock that has four leaves, that means that you are lucky. Si encuentran un trébol de cuatro pétalos, significa que tienen suerte. Mrs. Madoff said so many Irish people came across the sea to America that we celebrate St. Patrick's Day whether we're Irish or not. I am from Guatemala and I'm wearing a green hat celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Many Americans are a little bit Irish, but not me. I'm all Irish. My mom and dad were born in Ireland. My grandparents and my aunts live there. I went to visit them when I was four. Here's a picture of me in that green, green land. Oh, look at that. He went to Ireland to visit his family. And what do you see? Él fue a Irlanda a visitar a su familia porque él es irlandés. ¿Y qué vemos atrás que hay? What do you see in the back? Some animals that go... What are they called? Yes, they're called sheep. ¿Cómo se llaman las... Las ovejas. Muy bien. When I got home, mom was baking soda bread because that's what her mother always did on St. Patrick's Day. People put on their best clothes and wore shamrocks. They went to church to pray the way St. Patrick taught them. When they came home, they had a fine meal with soda bread. Y toda la gente se viste muy bien y van a la iglesia y después regresan a casa a comer un pan especial que hacen en el día de San Patricio. We took a loaf to Pablo's mother. She said it smells so delicious. We should have a slice with some hot chocolate. Yum! On March 17th, that means today, we all wear something green. That's because it's St. Patrick's Day, and St. Patrick's Day comes just before spring. The sprouts that come in spring are green. That day, we are all a little bit Irish. The end. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. So we're going to be making an, a very special craft so we can be lucky. All right, so make sure you watch our next video to see what we have here for you to pick up at the library. But before we go, I would like to sing a song with you guys because what else is green? Can you guess what else is green? ¿Qué otro animal es verde? Not solo que estamos hablando ahora del color verde. Yes, all the frogs.
doggies are green and the turtle. So we are going to sing the Crokey Pokey by Ethan Long. Hey everyone, let's do the Crokey Pokey. So this is a song that you can find out how to dance it. And we're gonna be using our right hand, our left hand, our head. So get ready to sing with me. One, two, three. Put your right hand in, put your right hand out, put your right hand in, and wave it all around. Hop the croaky pokey as we chase a fly around, right in the froggy's mouth. Whop! <gasps> they wanna eat the fly. Uh-oh, but he didn't catch it. Put your left hand in. Put your left hand in. Put your left hand out. Put your left hand in. And wave it all around. And do the croaky pokey as we chase a fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth. Wow! Uh-oh, he didn't catch it. Put your right foot in. Where is your right foot? Right foot, put it in, put it in. Put your right foot out and put your right foot in and wave it all around and do the hokey pokey and we chase the fly around right in the froggy's mouth. Whoop! Put your left, where's your left? Left, yes, <laughs> your left. Put your left foot in, put your left foot out Put your left foot in and wave it all around. Hop the croaky pokey as we chase a fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth. Wop! Put your head in. Put your head in. La cabeza adentro. Put your head out. Put your head in and wave it all around. And hop the croaky pokey as we chase the fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth. Whoops! Snap! Put your backside in. Put your backside in. Put your backside out. Put your backside in. And wave it all around. Hop the croaky pokey as we chase a fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth. Woo! Put your whole self in. Put your whole self out. Put your whole self in and wave it all around and hope the croaky pokey as we chase a fly around. Oh, snap, snap, whop, 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 whop. Oh, look what's happening with all those tongues. Oh, they want to cry. They want to catch the little fly and they can't. Let's see what happens with all the frogs. Oh, they all got tied up. Look at that. Uh oh. oh, right in the fishy's mouth. That's what it's all about. The end, bravo. Very good. You did so well today. Thank you for joining me. Look at our next video so you can learn about the craft, all right? Have a good day. Bye-bye.